So we're going to talk about a little bit of the, the new, new album, Contrepoint. Um, how is to you to, to make it uh, after the, the compositions of Bach, uh, thinking about it and then construction, deconstruction, uh, reflection? It went very naturally because I was not thinking of making a solo record. I was just for my own pleasure and my own experience. I, w I, w I was learning the songs on the piano for like a couple of years, you know. And then um, there's some of the parts that were incredible and um, I wanted everyone to hear them, uh, but without taking piano lessons, you know. So I wanted like, everybody in the streets or my children, my friends, my family uh, to be able to appreciate this magic moment I can see in the score. So I took these little pieces of bar, like a few bars sometime, and then I developed some songs around them. And that's how the record was born. And, uh, but it was not, never a decision. It went, it went naturally, little by little, like that. Any songs has a different purpose. There's a, a nine, nine, ten songs on the album, I don't know, but each one of them has a different purpose. So one, some of them, like maybe a couple of them, it's a reinterpretation, and um, some of, most of them, it's a <coughs> reinvention. Okay. And uh, also, because everything I know from classical music comes from the soundtrack composers, because I, I learn music by watching movie or watching TV show. And um, so if I do a, this album uh, a tribute for, for Bach, I understand when I listen to it now, it's more a tribute to soundtrack composer. So sometimes I use a few bars of Bach just to pay an homage to um, Lalo Schifrin or uh, okay. Danny Fman or stuff like that, you know. So it's a double homage. It's like uh, classical music, but soundtrack composers in the same time, you know. I don't like when um, band members make solo albums. <laughs> I can't believe I did it because honestly, it's something <laughs> I really, uh, I really don't like. Because I'm a, before being in a band, I'm a fan, and there's so many bands that I like and I love that I cherish. And uh, there's a charm in a band. And when uh, when band members they make solo records, I, I always think it's not as cool as the band, you know. I think there's a magic in the group because people are so different and there's okay. this, this is, uh, co they are complementary and um, mm -hmm. there's also tensions between egos in, in all the bands that I know. It, it creates something uh, exciting in the studio. it was to you to construct now deconstruct uh, to make it perfect uh, on the on the with the synthesizers and also with the mechanics and now deconstruct again to the live set it's very difficult because i always say when you're in studio you do what you want but when you play live you just do what you can you know so it's two different okay. concepts basically you have a complete freedom in a recording studio and uh on live, it's a, it's a different uh, way of making music because this is this uh, exchange with the audience, you know, and um, you can, uh, you, you throw something in the air and they throw back the ball to you and then there's this communion between you and the audience and you create a magic moment that's only unique, you know. I'm 
really into instrumental music and instrumental music is great with orchestra when you make when you write a melody if you play it with the synthesizers it can be kind of of cheesy you know but if the melody is played with an orchestra it's beautiful so but I, I, I guess we can listen to that ambition on the record yeah. that you yeah. imagine a lot of people playing all that 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 yeah. noises that melodies that perfect way yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you must be like a, a rigorous guy you know like really several on rules and what? not really no, no okay. it's oh. funny i'm not um I'm, i really believe in the magic in the moment and um I think making a record is to capture a magical moment, but I'm not into like a small... Um, oh, so you like imperfection as well. Yeah, and I, I okay. work very fast in the studio, and, um, and uh, my idea is to capture something magic in the room while we're doing the song. And if this is in... if we capture that, and I know the record is it will be a success artistically. I mean, like, uh, I mean, if you don't capture that, then your record is no, doesn't worth anything, you know. <laughs> 